Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and um, oh wait, I got a graphic for that. Uh, yeah, my name is Alec Godwin, ooh, we can move that off country. Oh, we're supposed to be able to move that. Let's see. Okay. That's okay. So, but yeah. So, um, today we are looking at uh, this device. Let's go to this um, angle. Okay. The setup. I had to bring the camera on the smaller tripod. Um, yeah. All the links will be in the description. Um, I'll, I mean, I kind of explain everything that you see here, but then uh, this is a tripod. It's called a hi hat. I have a, I've made a video on it before. It's for stuff like this to take low shots, and then maybe you want to do presentation and have it on on your table like this. So here, what I've done, I've mounted the the zoom and uh, focus demands, and uh, um, I did unbox. Check out the unboxing video as well if you want to know what came with it. Um, but but basically you just uh, clamp them, clamp them in here like this. Let me unclamp it. Okay. Each demand has this stuff. Okay, so that's what it's like. Yep. So you put this over it now and uh, have it mounted this way. And tighten. Once you got it in this spot, let's, uh, let's see from here. Um, yeah, so you could tighten now. Keep tightening and it will close up. Hmm. Okay, and the same thing on this side. Well, a little bit. This is like, uh, um, this part is Ari lock. It's just to match match them together and then screw it in. Same thing for this device. Okay, uh, right. So uh, pretty straightforward. Um, these. Pins, this, these are pins, uh, locking pins. So you put them on the camera. There's a camera part. Let's uh, see if we can get it on this, which is easier to take off now. Let's take this off. Okay, so I put it tight in here, but one of these is labeled camera and the other is labeled a loop. So uh, instead of using both, um, let's see, I have to turn this so you can see. So here we go. So um, instead of using both units for um, the demand and the um, zoom fo demands, uh, focus and zoom. I've gone ahead to use this, and of course, Black Magic thought about it. So the loop is for putting the other one in here, so you can have your space for recording, which is what I'm doing now. I'm recording to. This is a T5 um, Samsung T5, the recommended hard disk. So don't get confused with this uh, package because this is uh, from Launchbox. I already made a video about switching so that you can have this uh, behind your Atomos Ninja or, or Atomos Recorders. Uh, makes it more portable, okay? So um, I'll probably put the video as well. But the bottom line is um, I made that port available so I can do this, okay? So switching, um, focusing on this one both devices this and this are all connected now the cables are not very long let's turn it back around yeah here we go this is yellow bug it's not i'm not streaming with um 810 mini yet 810 mini pro yet uh, this is the yellow box and um 
I'm still getting acquainted. Moving forward, this is what I'm working towards to have my full presentation um, editing here so I can make more videos and uh, be more efficient with my time management, okay? That is what I'm planning to do. And uh, eventually we all turn out to be on the ATEM Mini uh, Pro because um, that can, can control this and the Blackmagic is also 12K. Um, of course, I'm recording at 4K. Um, but the bottom line is it can, um, you know, color correct or balance or expose or all from the... Um, from the A10 Mini Pro, so that's where I'm going, and eventually, I don't know, we may have to either get in more black magic cameras or switch up these other ones. But back to the let's say focus on the subject for today. Now, these two work great. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, screen, okay? Let me focus on the camera now. On the screen, there is the is a um, is the FX3, that's the FX3 on screen and we have it in focus okay it's very easy this is very easy to get this in focus so smooth and you know i love it i love it more than the um pull focus uh, follow focus unit uh, no i love this thing more i think it, it, it gets it helps you get easier and more precise so if black magic if you are watching if you guys can um uh, if you guys can um, make this thing <laughs> um, work with all the black magic cameras like it's gonna it's gonna make the cameras it's gonna make all the cameras sell you know a lot more uh, for example I wouldn't have gone ahead to get the um, a7 um, the FX threes and the a7 four which uh, the a7 four is on oh, it's over here okay so I wouldn't have gone gone ahead to get all that because uh, Autofocus was the reason I got that. Even though I'm, I, I don't think I regret it anyway, but it's a lot of money to just tie away, you know. So uh, I may have to go to the cheaper, easy control Blackmagic cameras, you know. But I'll give you, keep you updated on that. Um, but moving forward, this is how we want to be rolling things. So um, more on that coming soon. So. Um, my advice if you want to get uh, now this zoom let's let's take a look at this rocker now what would be the best way to show it is it this view uh yeah let's stay on this view while i get it out okay let me get this out now this how this works this is the let's go back yep this is the zoom rocker okay this is what would zoom in the lens now i got the lens on there okay that's the le the lens on there but we know that this um that's not the zoom um lens it has its own zoom um i reviewed it already okay you see it's zooming in and zooming out which is smooth but it can be controlled by this so what's the point of getting this i'll let you know um you can configure this guy um fun it has function keys that you could um make into whatever you like for example uh i have uh, re, re reassigned this button i think it used to be um for zoom like if for for rear focus like you want to uh, punching it used to be for punching but I switched it to one touch focus so if I if I let me get this out of focus now oh man this is so lovely now one punch focus watch watch the screen it's going to see that let's get in some more red you know so it's going to get it in sharp focus okay it works you know most of the, I mean it works uh, but you just have to know that it's going to be more on the center okay so it's going to centralize on the image so your framing before you push that your framing should already have uh, what you want in focus at the middle okay so uh, that's that it has the program program button which came by default so um if we are doing a live stream or whatever the event is and there's switching going on and you want to know what the 
uh, program screen is showing right now, you push this, you'll see the other camera shot or your camera shot if your sense is in is, um is in display now okay so that way you know okay i'm in uh, i'm being you know it's uh, it's on me okay so let me wait when somebody else is um when they switch or when you uh, when you take your hand off of course uh um when there's nothing it won't show so you could you know just peep into the show and you know get yourself ready for your shot you know moving forward so it's like you are part of the um switching system even though you are not by the switcher okay um there's also communications we would which we will demonstrate later and get how um, how they talk back to each other uh, but what if the talk back fails you need to be able to check like this okay so this unit uh and on, on this last unit i have not assigned it but i'm going to put uh have my uh the first color so it's, as you can see it's all red but you know you could turn in the nd now you could also put an nd you could make this assign nd toggle to this one so that that's what it does but i know that i'm i'm not far away that's easy i can easily um do that from from this button now this is red i'm not filming on this so it's about exposed that's fine because we are not on air with that camera all right so um um you'll be able to see what's going on and then this last button which is this one you could use uh, to push to focus now watch the camera i've uh, pushed to start like record and push the button now you see the the camera is on record now the top is red um, who can see that better? Let's see. Let's see. Can you see that better? Yeah. So a little bit, um, a little bit. So, but the bottom line is, is um, yeah, I will go for it. If you have to buy one device, if you can't afford both, which I would say get both anyway, but this is the most important. Some people will say, why you get the zoom uh, rocker when you don't have the expensive uh, lens? Even though that is coming soon, I will I will review it on this channel. Um, but if you don't have the uh, zoom and you can you have to choose one, I would say go for this because you can assign the focus um, um, ability to this one so that you know you'll be able to pull focus using this rocker. Okay, which is like everything, and then push to start. You'll be able to do zoom. Um, uh, false color or whatever your preference are you'll be able to do it but this is just fantastic on its own because it, it's easy to just pull this and rock with it like it's so smooth you know it, you know this this one cannot this one cannot beat it okay so get both of them my 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 suggestion but if you have to choose one don't miss it. This is it. Okay. So let me put it back in place. And good thing is that, um, um, well, the, the, the cables are not that long. They are great for this setup. It's enough for this setup now. When you, um, you're supposed to have a tripod with uh, two arms, um, heavy duty tripods. They are better, you know, tripods with two arms coming out and one for each that's what uh, i'm using on the other camera right now um this one and uh, uh but i can have that mounted right now so uh for demonstration purposes i've got this uh, 50 millimeter rail you can use that as, as an option to mount this one so that you can have both and have access to them both whichever is more convenient you can actually put the both of them in the same spot but it's tight uh, i don't know but do something that works you can walk around it um we're recording on this guy now but uh, we can stop that let me use this all right so that's it um first color off okay and then push to focus I like to see it sharp in focus okay so um what's it called this um the cable you can use almost any usb cable um i have a lot of them and i've tried a lot and everything seems to be working okay so if you have any reason to lose if you lose this or 
break them. You can use any USB cable, but uh, uh, hopefully you don't. Uh, but for me, I am going ahead to. Uh, I already ordered. Uh, I already got longer cables. I just went back to this for demonstration purposes. Um, in the last video, you saw me use a white cable. Okay, so um, they are uh, they are pretty long. So depending on what you do on this YouTube table, it's these guys. These guys are attached to my desk, so it's running from the camera. You know, mostly from this side. Uh, today, all the cameras are usually on this side. You know, and then. Um, they will run underneath the table to the devices and it will be easier to control from them. This one doesn't matter because I still have to power from um, from um, this guy, from this loop out. So the length of this one doesn't matter. But however, I still got long cables for both of them so that, you know, I won't have to think about it if I have to move it. Okay, so, and that's a good thing that you could stay away from the device and do what you want to do. All right. Um, now, let's, uh, to wrap up the video, I think um, this whole system is great. I think, um, you know, I wish Blackmagic would implement it on the other cameras. That would be lovely. And, um, we'll be able to get there oh, oh, because we have this this uh, expensive cameras and um, we still have to go get something else to work with the lenses uh, even we don't have the zoom lenses on them we still can use this thing if they set it up if they make it work we can use these devices just the way i'm using this now um, still limited but that's fair enough yeah, until we get these uh, lenses. Um, the OSA does have a cable um, to control maybe B4 lenses, I don't know, but uh, probably the Zoom, they have, it has the um, port for that, but, uh, but and we want this, these demands should be able to go through all the pocket cameras and this, so that if you go for the studio, studio you know, you miss the tally light, you miss the, um, the, Talk back for the pocket cameras. I won't mind that, but the Elsa is already designed to have talk, talk back, and we'll demonstrate that in another video. Okay, we will demonstrate that in another video. Rigging this guy up, we will demonstrate in another video as well. And you see, there's a lot coming up. Okay, so you might want to be subscribed to the channel. We also have giveaways. Oh, check out um, the video about and get updated about giveaways. We are giving away some filmmaking gears on the channel and um, we still haven't uh, gotten, we are giving away 49 items, 49 items. And uh, um, we have, we are barely seven. We are, you know, we've given away barely seven of them, about seven of them already. So there's a lot more to give away. Okay. So uh, stay subscribed and, um, yeah, and follow up on the catch up on the giveaway videos from time to time. I update it to let you know what's going on, what's available for giveaway right now. And um, everybody's a winner. So that's that. So I think we are done here. Um, if any other thing you think I missed, any question, any uh, suggestion and contribution, put it in comments. Even to Black Magic, yeah, you can comment it and hopefully they'll see it. Okay, so um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, record cable had this sound more coming that's it so let's switch uh, but before we go I want to try uh, one switching ability of this um, of this uh, device I want to put it on auto switch and it's going to switch around on its own um, giving preference to this shot this was, will be my master shot because it will show more of the things. And um, yeah, it will switch on its own and go back so I can do my talking. The yellow box is really good. I can do my talking and and everything will switch without me. See, my hands are off. All right, so more coming on this box. Um, I know I'm going to be riding a lot with this guy while I'm getting acquainted with uh, the A10 Mini. Um, the links for this will be in the description. It's a lot more expensive. It's about uh, a thousand plus, you know, but it's totally worth it. 
is going to be my backup. It's going to be my backup. Um, it's just the only one easy solution for streaming. Okay, not sophisticated, just easy, smooth, reliable. Okay, so let's uh, lock this guy off. All right, and I think with this, uh, I can switch up from the auto switch now and take over and say thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope everything went well. We'll be able to stream this thing in a few. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.